up a cinema show gun here and slowly but surely the truth is starting to trickle out about this whole entire Carly Russell situation. It's a slow process, I know. It is a very slow process. But bit by every tidbit, the truth is coming out. Just wait on it. Now, as most of you all already know, if you watched the video that I put out before this one, that Carly Russell's job issued a statement earlier today. Now, a lot of people don't think that statement says much, but for those of us who follow these cases, and especially for those of us who are used to covering cases like this one, we know that that statement says a whole lot. It's not always what you necessarily say. Sometimes it's what you don't say. But after that statement was released, Carly's mother released a new statement as well. And I'm going to be honest with you, folks. I don't know how to feel about it. Now, if you all have been following this story from day one, then chances are you know about the Red Roof in confusion. You see... People were listening into police scanners and they heard a call come through from the Red Roof Inn about Carly Russell. Supposedly, a few carfuls of people arrived at the Red Roof Inn looking for Carly Russell. We know for a fact this happened. It was picked up on police scanner. A man that I know by the name of SF Investigates, he's not on YouTube. He's on Twitter. Follow him if you haven't already. He's the one that brought everyone's attention to the fact that this call came through the police scanner. But Carly Russell's family said that it was a lie. Now, this is where I start to take issue with this entire situation. I've been trying to sit back and not say too much. I've had questions, but I've tried to be nice. I take issue when people's reputations are put on the line and when people receive unneeded hate for telling the truth because other people decide to lie for no reason. You see, FS Investigates was receiving a lot of unneeded hate. People talking all types of crap on Twitter, people acting as if he wasn't trustworthy, and naturally, they're going to believe the family that says it's all a lie so it made SF Investigates look bad. But now, here we are, however long later, I don't know the exact amount of hours that have passed, but here we are now, and Carly's mom is confirming that they did go to the Red Roof Inn. Now, why does this make me feel some type of way? Because now I know that the family has lied because they lied about going to the Red Roof Inn and they made other people look bad in the process. They made other people look like liars when in fact they weren't being truthful. And this just makes me start feeling more iffy about the entire situation because when lies start getting involved in an already questionable case, of course, it's going to make everyone feel kind of awkward. And this is definitely making me feel kind of awkward. I'm starting to believe that the Red Roof Inn may be a significant part of this story. I could be wrong, but why would they lie about it to begin with? Well, I'll give you more of my thoughts about that in just a moment. But first, let's go ahead and read Carly Russell's mother's statement. As I read through this statement, I want you all to go ahead and start dropping comments down below, as many as you want. Let me know your thoughts about everything I've said so far. Start letting me know your thoughts in real time about the statement. Hit that thumbs up button as well. And of course, after the statement, like I said, you already know I'm going to have a lot to say, but let's go forward. On behalf of Carly Russell and her family, we first want to sincerely acknowledge and thank everyone for all of your prayers, reward contributions through Crime Stoppers, and all the numerous acts of kindness shown to us. We asked God to perform, and he did. 
We understand and appreciate the sincere concern. However, we would like the public to understand a few things. First and foremost, Carly's physical and mental well-being is our immediate concern. This has been a traumatic experience for Carly and secondly, for our family. Secondly, this is an outstanding investigation and we have fully cooperated with authorities from the onset and will continue to do so. Carly has given detectives her statement and hopefully they are pursuing her abductor. It will be up to law enforcement to determine what information they want to release and when they want to release this information as not to compromise the investigation. Further, we understand there are some questions about the reward donations through Crime Stoppers. It is my understanding from information I received when the reward was set up that any donations received were not used for the reward would be returned to each donor. Lastly, when we initially, lastly, when we initially asked for help of the public or for the help of the public in searching and praying for Carly's safe return, we asked for sincere prayers, not prayers or support that came with strings or entitlement. We have not created nor authorized any GoFundMe accounts nor solicited money from anyone. Please understand our mental state and the anguish we have just experienced and that Carly is still dealing with it and understand that no matter how many demands or false narratives that are produced, we will not be bullied into doing anything that will compromise our daughter's mental well-being or the investigation. Also, we will not entertain the negative social media comments with a response so you find someone to do it. God has been good to us and brought our daughter safely home and we will not participate in allowing this moment to be tainted. There is one terrible and heartless hoax we want to address out of several. I received a text at some point from someone claiming to be Carly, and she said that she was at the Red Roof Inn. However, when my family went there and knocked on doors and looked for her, and there was no indication Carly was there, nor that she had ever been there, any further questions or comments about the case will need to be directed towards the Hoover Police or the ABI. So, this call, well, for one, before we even take it there, let's acknowledge that they lied. And in the process, you see, when you're, when you're lying, it has effects on other people because it makes other people look bad. And as someone who is interested in telling the truth, I would hate if the family of a supposed missing, missing child made me out to look like a liar or a bad person that was spreading lies about their missing child. I would really be angry if, if someone did that to me and made me out to be a bad person when in fact they were lying the whole entire time. Why they felt the need to not tell the truth about this red end, uh, the Red Roof Inn situation from the get-go, I don't know. I guess I could say your guess is as good as mine but it doesn't make me feel good about it. If anything, it makes me feel like there's something significant about the Red Roof Inn here. A lot of people were um, ready to dismiss the Red Roof Inn after Carly's family says it was a lie. This right here, the fact that they felt the need to not be 100% truthful here makes me feel like there's something here. And you have to remember, this situation at the Red Roof Inn it happened literally a couple of hours before Carly Russell turns up home. Now, I don't know what happened here. I would be really upset if Carly Russell's family went down to that Red Roof Inn and they found Carly 
And instead of just letting the truth come out, they went ahead and allowed her to show up at home afterwards. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't think that's the case. And I'm hoping that's not the case. But when you lie about something, it's going to make people speculate even further. So the fact they didn't tell the truth from the beginning and they made other people look like liars, it makes me feel some type of way, to be honest. And now I'm really honing in on this Red Roof Inn situation because I really feel like there's something here. You know, I'm not convinced that they just got this call from Carly at the Red Roof Inn and then they go down there to find out what's going on and then Carly shows up an hour or two later. Something really weird about that. I'm thinking there's a possibility that maybe Carly or someone or wanted to bait the family into leaving the house so no one saw when Carly arrived or no one saw as Carly made it back home. I don't know. You know, there's all types of different possibilities, but at the very least, we know that we're not getting the truth here. And it sucks that we're not necessarily getting the full truth from the family. Now, for the record, I do not believe that the family is in on a big hoax. I don't believe this is about money at all. If anything, I do believe that the family believed Carly's story, at least up until the point that this Red Roof Inn situation happened. This Red Roof Inn situation, I don't know. I got a pretty big gut, and my gut feeling is telling me that something about this Red Roof Inn is definitely tied to Carly Russell's story. Was she there while she was supposed to be missing? I don't know. Was a call made to bait her family out? I don't know. But there's definitely something here, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be hard to convince me otherwise. So everyone can obviously feel however they want to feel about this situation. But personally, as someone that covers the news and news stories like this one for a living, I feel strongly about this. And I definitely take offense to the fact that people are are being made to look as if they are liars when they're trying to help a missing children's case and it definitely makes me feel even worse about the situation knowing that the family of a supposed missing woman was out here kind of making people look like liars when they were just trying to spread actual factual information the reality is you're getting more factual information from random people who cover these news stories on YouTube and on Twitter and stuff like that than you are from Carly's family. And we know that now because they lied about the Red Roof Inn. Um, but once again, I just want to reiterate the fact that I don't think Carly Russell's family is in on a big hoax. I don't think they're necessarily lying about everything that went down. I think they're trying to protect their child. I don't think they know the truth about what happened. I, 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 uh, and we none of us know the truth about what happened. So it is what it is. I just felt like it was very important to point this out because in my honest observations, there's something about this Red Roof Inn. I'm not going to say too much. I've seen the same stuff that you've seen online, I can assure you. But this right here, in my opinion, is confirmation that the Red Roof Inn is definitely a part of this story. Okay? And what happened at the Red Roof Inn? And what the Red Roof Inn has to do with everything in the bigger picture, we'll find that out soon enough. Let me know your thoughts, though, down below while you're down there. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.